Ronnie O'Sullivan through to the final here at the Johnstons Pay Tour Championship in Manchester with a 10-7 win over Gary Wilson. Mm. Great game to watch that, Ronnie. How did it feel mm. to play? Yeah, no, Gary's a fantastic player and, and I know he's what he's capable of. You know, he can score well, plays good safety, good under pressure, fancies the job. So I knew I'd have to compete and you know, and um, if I had a chance of winning, you know. The last three frames were mm. sublime. I mean, I think the, mm. the final frame, your average shot time was down to 13 seconds. <laughs> You seem to be doing this at the moment. You, mm. Matches seem to go close, and then you just mm. boulder away to the yeah, finish. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd like to play how I played in them free frames for like 60, 70 percent of matches. You know, that's what I used to do. So I'd like to find that sort of form for you know quite longer periods in matches. But you know, um, I'll take it when it comes, and and just keep trying to just focus and try to <coughs> compete and just try and enjoy it and just try and stay composed out there and, and give myself a chance you know. And are you enjoying it? Yeah there's times when I'm enjoying it you know there was there was times out there when it was tough you know uh, first few frames you know I wasn't really getting a hold of the ball as well as I'd like to have done um, but that's snooker and you can't always be hitting it great but uh, I, I tried to stay patient and and you know the interval came and you know, got got a bit of a lead, and, and then he came back at me, and you know, and, but as long as you give yourself time, you know, it can always it can always turn around, you know. It was a game that seems to be played in a very good spirit. Mm. Um, you've mentioned that how mm. good a player Gary is. Mm. He won one ranking title last season. Mm. To this season, mm. how good is he? No, I really rate Gary. I, I mean, I played him years ago in um, qualifier. I don't know where it was. Um, but I was four it up, and then he came back at me at four three and didn't miss a ball, and I beat him five three. And he can't do afterwards. Do you think there's anything wrong with your game? I was like, there's nothing wrong with your game, mate. You play, you play good stuff. And um, so yeah, me and Gary have become good friends. You know, I really like Gary. He's an honest bloke. You, you know, you hear his interviews, and how he is on his interviews, he is in real life. He's a, I love him. I think he's a great lad, and great to see him winning tournaments. And um, you know, he loves the game. He, he loves the game that much that he gets so frustrated by it sometimes that he's a bit like me. He just thinks, why can't I play well? Like 78 percent of the time, um, but I think he's learning there that you know you can't always play well, but just give yourself a chance. And sometimes, just sort of having that patience is is, is key because someone like Gary, you know, in a match he he, he can put a burst on a three, four, five frames and, and break the back of a match. So I think he's learning that you know that he's got that armory in his game, you know, and. Um, I, think I, I rate him highly. Linking on to that, you've mm. been talking this week about you work with Steve Peters. You're trying mm. to become less of a perfectionist, which yeah. I think is what you're hinting at, at Gary there. Yeah. How do you do that? I mean, you've been at the top for so long, you are a perfectionist. Yeah. How do you suddenly change I know. that? I mean, you never, you never stop tinkering, but I think I got so deep into the world that I just didn't know how to get out of it in the end, you know, and I, I kind of felt like I was getting the yips. I felt like I was stabbing at the ball and you know I just in the end I just thought you know and I was getting scared to, to go out and play you know I was right in practice because no one was watching but doing exhibitions and coming to play major tournaments the little tournaments not so bad but when you're playing in the big events and the big matches like, like tonight and the atmosphere is like that you know there's quite a lot of pressure out there and you get tight and you know and you sometimes don't feel like you can get your cue through and I think I just kind of um, yeah got myself into a bad place and it's a bit like an alcoholic goes to rehab to sort of detox for a month and then goes to meetings and, and, and gradually gets well. And I've kind of always used the Steve Peters method at times. In the first two or three years, I was on it every day. And my performances and my, everything was just tight. I was just, I was just on point. And then I just kind of thought, mm, I just wanted to just free, freestyle it a bit and use a bit of rear and use a bit of Steve Peters and then just use nothing but just my instinct. And and it doesn't always work, you know. I can still a top eight player, but um, you know, if you want to be the complete all-round player, you've got to kind of incorporate all the facets, if you like. And I think for me, it's just sort of I'm going to give myself till not this year's world champ, not the, the world championship coming up, but the following world championship to really work close with Steve Peters and see if I can come at it from a different angle. Basically, get the mind right to be able to cope with maybe not playing great snooker all the time, but in doing that, hopefully the good snooker will come more you know I think if I can clear my mind um, and accept certain things and not be so hard on myself maybe I'll allow myself to play more instinctively you know absolutely you mentioned the atmosphere here tonight 
Mm. Over the years, mm. you've made a few comments about venues that we played at. Yeah. The venue and the crowd here, superb. Aren't they? This is an amazing venue. You know, backstage it's great. Um, the playing arena is great. We're in the middle of Manchester, so you, you know, on your downtime, you can you know find things to do, and you know it's just a good place to be. You know. Um, so yeah, you know, although I've been a bit harsh on venues, I think you know if, if you know I think I've been right to be harsh on them as well, you know, because um, but you know I have nothing but this is this is a fantastic venue and great crowds, you know. Brilliant. You mentioned downtime there. Day off tomorrow for mm. you, Ronnie. Have you found a decent running route, a decent coffee <laughs> shop? What are we going to be doing tomorrow? Uh, I, I'm going to start running again soon. I, I didn't. Feel, I thought I might need to have a, an operation on my knee, but the guy I see the other day said, "No, you don't." So I can start running again. I've been in the gym, so I'll probably do a bit of gym tomorrow. Um, probably hit the practice table. Um, try and have some nice food. Um, yeah, just sort of enjoy the day off really enjoy being in Manchester might might get myself a little massage um, yeah and have um, get some coaching lessons off the of Tony Knowles fantastic <laughs> cheers Ronnie good luck on Sunday cheers mate thank, thank you, you. Cheers.